Yeah, Ellen and Karen, we always talk about uh, computer models and weather. They help us forecast things like uh, hurricane tracks, but now there are models being developed locally that can predict the extent of damage that Hurricanes Florence can, can, uh, can uh, inflict on the infrastructure. The official forecast path of Hurricane Florence is determined by the National Hurricane Center, which uses various weather models. But a different set of computer models developed here at the Argonne Laboratory in Lamont predict the effects of hurricanes like Florence on the infrastructure. We have a variety, a suite of different models, a variety of models that address a lot of different factors. Uh, we are, we're not necessarily concerned if it's flooding or high winds or storm surge. We're worried about all of those impacts. And we're worried about the impacts to all energy and lifeline infrastructures. This helps first responders and utility companies to get into position before the storm actually strikes. If we can say we're going to have a storm surge of X number of feet, what does that mean for our infrastructure? How specifically will it affect our ability to reconstitute, rebuild, and get back to a normal level of, of application? As the official track of this massive hurricane changes, these models are updated in real time with that information being shared with first responders. With the hurricane not expected to make landfall until Friday, there's still time for people to get out of the path of Florence. All of the grocery stores are gone. I mean, there are, there's just like no water, no milk, no bread. There were lines for gasoline to get your tank filled, and I was fortunate enough, I was uh, at an appointment and someone just stuck their head at the door and said, uh, the grocery store just got two pallets of water. It'll be gone in 30 minutes. Go get it. So I got three cases of water. They're stocking up on water and food and batteries and buying generators. Obviously, everybody is prepared. Nobody's going to be caught off guard in the path of this hurricane. And hopefully with people in place as far as first responders and utility company workers, they will be able to restore power as quickly as possible once the hurricane moves out of that area.